Welcome to Soup Up Recipes. Today we're making Chinese barbecue spice, or what we call Shao Kao Zhan Liao. It's an all-purpose seasoning that will make everything taste better. In this video, I will share six different recipes to demo how to use it, including barbecue lamb skewers, spicy lo mein noodles, quick wonton soup, beef and onion stir fry, white boiled shrimp, and spicy pork sausage. That will give you some inspiration so you can get the maximum use out of this seasoning. Please hit the like button and let's get started. I have got here a quarter cup of spicy chili flake. You can use chili powder, whatever you have on hand. This also has a complex smoky flavor. To reduce the heat, I will add a quarter cup of non-spicy sweet chili powder. You can play with the ratio to adjust the spice level depending on your own tolerance. If you don't like spicy food, you can just use 100% sweet chili powder. Continue by adding two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of roasted sesame seeds, one and a half teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoon of sugar, one and a half teaspoon of white pepper powder. You can do black if you want. One and a half teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. This is optional. If you don't like MSG, you don't have to use it. Besides that, you will also need two tablespoons of roasted peanut. If you are allergic, you can use almond. One and a half tablespoon of cumin seed and two teaspoons of Sichuan peppercorns. Everything needs to be finely ground except the sesame seed. So let's add the cumin and Sichuan peppercorns into a wok and toast them over low heat for a couple of minutes. If you bought them already ground, you don't have to do this extra step. Put them in a spice grinder and grind until fine. The peanuts are roasted already, so I didn't need to toast them. Just add them to the grinder and blend. Here is a note. Don't blend the peanuts alone. You have to combine them with some spices. Otherwise, they will turn into peanut butter. Once done, add the powder to the plate. The peanuts contain oil, so you have to crumble the spices a little bit. Mix well. If you see any lumps, crush them. This smells so good. It's strong, complex, and nutty. You have made Chinese barbecue spice. You can store it in a sealed jar. This can stay good at room temperature for up to five months. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. The first recipe, of course, we're gonna make some Chinese barbecue skewers. Cut the meat into bite-sized pieces. I'm using lamb leg meat, but you can do this with beef, chicken, and pork. For every pound of meat, season it with three tablespoons of the barbecue spice, a third teaspoon of baking soda to tenderize the meat, and a big drizzle of cooking oil to lubricate everything. Mix thoroughly and let it sit for 30 minutes. You can also put it in the fridge overnight. These skewers are so thin. I soaked them in water, hope that will prevent them from burning. When you put the meat on, try to even out the fat so each skewer gets a little bit. You can grill the meat on an open flame. It will take about four to five minutes per side over high heat. I will roast it in the oven because I don't feel like lighting up a fire today. Preheat the oven to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Then switch to the boiler and also set to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the skewers on the rack that is second to the top, so it is closer to the heat source without burning. Roast them for five minutes. Flip them to roast the other side. Even though the bamboo skewers were soaked, they were still burning fast in the oven, so I had to cover the sticks with tin foil. Push the baking pan back into the oven and roast the lamb for another five minutes. And you're done. I like to quickly sprinkle a little bit more of the barbecue spice to reinforce the flavor. Mm, I can't wait to enjoy it. This reminds me of the night market in China. The meat is so tender and flavorful. 
the cumin seeds enhances the lamb taste. Mm, so delicious. Next recipe is spicy lo mein, my go-to choice when I'm tired and don't want to cook. Fill a pot with water. Optionally, if you want to make this into a satisfying dish, you can add some frozen Chinese meatballs. I use this package because it is a mixture containing a few kinds of meatballs. Let them cook as the water heats up. However, your local Asian market may have different varieties. Just choose whatever is available. These are dried egg noodles. They look like instant noodles, but they don't come with the flavor package. However, you can use your favorite noodles if you want. They are pretty small, so I use two. Cook them for three minutes or follow the instruction time on the package. Meanwhile, add one and a half tablespoon of barbecue spice into a heat proof bowl, along with one tablespoon of minced garlic and one and a half tablespoon of diced scallions. Heat two tablespoons of oil to smoking hot and pour it onto the aromatics. Mix well. Even though this is a quick recipe, I still try to make it as healthy as possible by adding some vegetables. The noodles should be done cooking. Take them out and toss in the bok choy. Mix the noodles with the sauce. Top with the meatballs and vegetables. This is delicious and tastes so much better than the instant noodle flavor package. I have a folder that I literally named Tired of Cooking. It's a collection of recipes that I can make within 10 minutes using frozen items and the common ingredients. This spicy lo mein is on the top of the list. If you're wondering what is the second one, that will be my quick wonton soup. I'm using store-bought frozen wontons. Just pick your favorite brand. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Use your utensil to swirl the water to create a vortex. Then add the wontons. This way, they will flow with the water instead of sinking to the bottom directly. Otherwise, they will stick to the bottom and lose part of the skin. Turn the heat to low and simmer the wonton for five minutes. Meanwhile, add one and a half tablespoon of barbecue spice into a heat proof bowl, along with one and a half teaspoon of minced garlic, one and a half tablespoon of diced scallions, and one and a half tablespoon of diced cilantro. Heat two tablespoons of oil to smoking hot and pour it onto the aromatics. Last, I will drizzle in half tablespoon of Chinese black vinegar to balance the taste. If you don't have it, you can use apple cider or balsamic vinegar. The wontons should be done cooking. Add them into the bowl along with one and a half cup of the boiling water, and you're done. Although store-bought wontons are not as good as homemade, but the soup enhances the taste. It's super aromatic and it has depth of flavors. I would not waste a drop of that soup. The next recipe is onion and beef stir-fry, which is even easier. You don't need to pre-season the meat because we are using thinly shaved beef slices. Turn the heat to high and preheat the saute pan thoroughly. That's how you prevent the meat from sticking to the pan. Add a big drizzle of oil and swirl it around. Add the beef to the pan directly. Try to loosen the slices as much as you can. The heat is on high. We only need to stir the meat for a minute because we don't want to overcook it. You should still be able to see some pink color here and there. Take the meat out. Add another drizzle of oil along with some garlic slices, julienne carrot, and sweet onion slices. Keep cooking over medium heat until all the onion is translucent. Introduce the beef back into the pan. Add the scallion stalks and sprinkle in one and a half tablespoon of barbecue spice evenly. Then drizzle in one tablespoon of soy sauce from the side of the pan. Keep mixing and tossing until everything is well combined. 
and you're done. How easy was that? It literally took five minutes. This goes so good with white rice. The beef is thinly sliced, so it's definitely tender. Oh, I love the nutty flavor from the roasted peanuts and sesame seeds. If you don't know what to cook for dinner, give this a try. You'll be blown away. Next recipe is also easy. White boiled shrimp. Devein the shrimp by sticking a toothpick underneath and pull it out. I'm not going to peel the shell because it helps to keep the shrimp moist during the cooking process. Fill a big pot with water. Add some ginger slices and some scallions. Bring this to a boil. Add the shrimp and count one minute. Then turn off the heat and put on the lid. Let the shrimp sit in the hot water for two to three more minutes, depending on the size. Don't soak it for too long, otherwise the flesh will turn rubbery. Fish them out and you're done. This is a finger food. So you're supposed to peel the shrimp by hand and dip with the seasoning rub. Squeeze some lemon juice on it. Oh, that is so good. Barbecue spice makes the shrimp extra flavorful, but you also get to enjoy the purest taste of the flesh. You know what? This is great when you're on a keto or weight loss diet because the barbecue spice makes any plain meat taste so good. The last recipe is Chinese pork sausage. I'm using pork shoulder meat that I roughly diced. You can use ground pork if you want. I just prefer bigger chunks of meat in my sausage. Normally, for every pound of pork, you will need to season it with three tablespoons of this barbecue spice. However, this is a sausage recipe, so it's supposed to be saltier than your normal taste. Therefore, we're gonna add four tablespoons. I like my sausage to be extra garlicky, so here are two tablespoons of minced garlic. Drizzle in three tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine and mix well. To prepare the sausage casing, just soak it in clean water for 10 minutes. You will need a sausage stuffer. Put the casing on the tube. Fill the stuffer with the pork and pack it tight. Assemble the tube by screwing it on. Evenly twist the handle and the meat should come out from the other side. Once the sausage has reached the length that you want, give it a little squeeze and tie it with kitchen twine. I know, plastic sausage stuffer looks kind of cheap, but I have been using it for years and it does its job. I'll link it in the description, you can check it out if you want. One pound of pork makes about five sausage links. Once done, check the surface. If you see any air bubbles, poke it with a toothpick. Place them on a drying rack. You have to put the sausage in the fridge, uncovered, for 10 days. This allows the meat to ferment and develop a better taste. After that, you can freeze them for up to 6 months. They are great for stir-frying or even as breakfast sausage. All right, that is all for today. I hope you can give this Chinese barbecue spice a try soon and have fun cooking with it. As always, the printable recipe links are in the description. Go check them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more easy and authentic Chinese food. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.